Hello and welcome to Faithfully Stampin' with Jennifer Helm. I am Jennifer Helm, the Faithful Stamper, and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. Tonight I am making a gift card holder. I've done something similar to this before, but this one is a little bit different from my original design. I'll show you that one in a minute. And I love this one because it fits in an envelope. Um, it's a very simple gift card pocket made from a piece of designer series paper with an insert that you can stamp or write a message on. And then it holds a gift card snug at the bottom. And then this piece goes back in. This one sample does not want to go. I promise you it really does work easier than that. And then this can go in an envelope and be given straight to your recipient. So... The one I created years ago, I think before I even started doing videos, was this one. So the concept is the same. Again, it's a pocket made out of designer series paper, and it had an insert in it as well. Um, I kept it very simple. This is just a piece of designer series paper as my pocket. But the difference with this one is it was larger, and so it would not fit in an envelope unless you used a rather large envelope. You can see the difference in the size. And so I'm really excited. I was thinking I wanted to make more of this style and this was perfect when I saw another demonstrator share this idea. It reminded me of the pocket and um, this uses less paper so you can get two of these out of one sheet of 12 by 12 and it fits perfectly in an envelope so you have the whole package here. All right, so I'm gonna pull my gift card out so that doesn't accidentally go in the mail to somebody. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to make it. So you can get two of these from a 12 by 12, as I just said. Um, I start with my paper six inches tall by 12 inches wide. And one thing to keep in mind, if, if you have a directional print, not an all over like this one, but if you have something where it needs to be um, kind of lined up properly, make sure you're looking at it in the portrait orientation and um, it's gonna be cut to six inches in that direction, if that makes sense. You'll see in a minute and in, in some of the samples why you wanna check the direction on your paper. So we're gonna start with six inches tall and 12 inches wide. I'm gonna grab my paper trimmer score and just bring this over. And so the first thing we're going to do is cut it down to six by nine and a quarter. And there is a method to my madness and why I didn't just cut it down already. So we're gonna go over to nine and a quarter and cut. And this piece here, you can hold on to if you like because this creates your envelope flap if you wanna add this to the envelope for an accent. So we're gonna come back to that later. Now what we're gonna do is a little bit of scoring. So we are going to score the short side at five and an eighth. That's gonna create the tab at the bottom. And then we're gonna score the long side at two and three quarters and seven. So I'm gonna move my cutting blade out of the way. So I'm going to do that five eighths of an inch on that short side at the top. Remember, when you're doing this, it's designer series paper. Don't dig into it with that score blade. I had to catch myself a couple times when I was making my samples. I would hear those paper fibers start to give. I like to go back and forth twice when I'm not pressing as hard. So that was two and three quarters and this is seven. All right. And then we're gonna come back to this in a minute. I'm gonna set that to the side. And while I have this out, I'm gonna do one more thing and that way I can move this out of the way. So for the insert, we need a piece of cardstock that is six and three eighths by four and an eighth. We're gonna score it at one inch on the long side. Um, this is gonna form the pocket for the gift card. So I'm just gonna line up my cardstock there at the one inch mark. And then I've got my score line and we'll come back to this in a minute. But now I can get this out of the way and you can see what I'm doing again. So once you get the hang of these, they go together very, very quickly, and it's very easy to make two or four at a time, um, if, especially if you're using a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. You can just really get them, get them going. So the first thing I like to do is fold all my score lines. I usually start with the, the long skinny one there, 
and then I just fold in the two panels. And you will notice that one is larger than the other. That's gonna come into play a little bit later. So what we wanna do here is create a tab in the middle that's gonna fold up and be the bottom of our envelope, um, our little pouch, and then we're gonna take these two skinny pieces off on the bottom. So what I like to do, and I can see, depending on my DSP, I can see pretty well. Um, sometimes certain prints are harder than others. I like to find my score line on that right panel and I trim diagonally towards it. I'm basically creating um, just a pretty edge to, to my envelope flap. And so then I'm gonna come to the one on the left and diagonal in here. So if I fold them back and out of the way, can you see how I just created that, that pretty, pretty edge for my pouch? So now that I've got that done, I'm just going to come back with my scissors and trim right on this score line, maybe even a hair above it. And I'll tell you why that above it part is so important in just a second here once I get this one off. When we fold this together, in just a minute, once I get tape on it, um, we're going to fold our large flap down first and then our small one, and then this one comes in. And you can see here, it just doesn't wanna go nicely. And that's because I got a little extra paper here. I was a little crooked with my cutting. So I'm gonna come back and take a sliver off and see. Mm, I need a little bit more, I think. Apparently I'm really crooked tonight. And I'm gonna come back and do, oh, that's probably the culprit right there. Just a hair. And now, once I get all my scraps out of the way here, when I fold down and close, much easier. See how that just folded right down? And that way it creates less bulk when you get that extra paper out of your way. So I'm gonna open this back up. For your envelope itself here, your little pouch, you're going to want um, tear and tape. You need a really strong adhesive. So your standard tape runner and your liquid glue may work, but you have to wait longer to hold it. So I like tear and tape. We're gonna put tear and tape on the small flap here. And I've learned that if I keep my small tab out to the right, then I'm gonna fold the top down and then the bottom up. And so that bottom piece here is where my other piece of tear and tape needs to go. So I give that a press down, peel the backing off my tape. So top flap, the larger flap comes in and then the other one comes up. Just give that a nice press. And then you can peel the tape off that small flap and fold it in. Give that a press and your little pocket's ready to go. Next step, I like to take a small punch. I have a one inch circle punch and I just cut a notch out of the top. This way my recipient can see that they need to pull something out of the gift card pouch. We're gonna do a little bit of decorating and then we'll work on the inside. So you can decorate these as simply or as fancily <laughs> as you want. Um, totally up to you. So for this one, I pre-cut two of our dies from the Stylish Shapes die set. These are the two smallest circles. And then circles, squares, those are squares. I know my shapes. And then one of the banners as well. This is in basic black. And I went with Fresh Freesia because it matches my paper. So those are my three colors tonight, white, black, and Fresh Freesia. And then I'm using black, Tuxedo Black Memento ink for my sentiment here on the front. And we'll come back to that ink in just a minute. Um, you can add as much dimension to this as you like. You can glue it flat or you can add dimension. I'm going to um, add dimension behind the whole thing. So this piece, here I can use my regular adhesive. Ooh, works surprisingly well there. It's usually persnickety on camera. 
So layer these together. You can do one simple shape, you can layer them together. It's totally up to you. I am gonna pop this on dimensionals and I'm just gonna use one at the top and the bottom since it's a fairly small square. And that way I can use these banner pieces um, without any issues. So, there is a method to my madness. I cut my banner in half and what I'm gonna do is put some glue on the back and then slide them in. And if I put dimensionals over there, I'd be struggling to get that in where I want. And this way, I don't have that problem. My banners just don't wanna cooperate here. Oh, see, I, I told the glue it was behaving and now it's gonna be difficult. All right, so I just like to slide my banner pieces in behind. And this way it looks like it's one whole piece, but it's actually two stretched just a little bit. Oop. They always like to move on me right at the end. All right, so there's my banner and my last touch on the front is some gems. And I like to put one here on the corner and then I'm gonna put a couple others. One on the top, one on the bottom, just to give it a little, little something. All right, so there's the pouch. Now we just need to work on the envelope and the insert. So the insert, as we talked about, was um, six and three eighths of an inch by four and an eighth. And um, we scored it at one inch, and that's just gonna get folded up for our pocket. Now we want a place to write a message. So this piece, our insert for the insert is five inches by three and three quarters. And you can decorate this however you like. I'm going to take some fresh freesia ink and a little floral accent stamp. I'm gonna stamp my corners. Like that. And then I'm going to grab that tuxedo black ink again. And this time use my birthday sentiment. And there we go. Now, something to keep in mind, you can, if you like, stamp accents, accents across the bottom, but you wanna make sure when you are doing that Keep in mind that you're gonna have that one inch covered back up. You're gonna see in one of my samples, I didn't stamp quite high enough, but um, it's good enough. But just keep that in mind if you want some stamping to show. You could stamp the bottom of the insert, you could stamp across the bottom, obviously not if it's in black, but you'll see that in one of the samples as well. And I'm gonna show you in a second how to dress this up a little bit if you want. So again, regular adhesive for this piece. And then we're gonna pull that tear and tape back out for a minute. You need just two tiny little pieces of tear and tape on the very edge, the very outside edges of this small panel. I give them a nice little press and then peel off the backing. And then I press this down. And one thing I found is that it's easier to put your card in long ways. You can put your card like this, but it, it has a lot of, it doesn't like to stay as snug. If you turn the card sideways, it fits perfectly in between your tape and it's a snugger fit so it's not gonna fall out on you when you either hand this to someone or mail it. Now, this looks perfectly lovely, but I thought I just wanted to, to dress it up a little bit. I, I didn't like that big black space at the bottom. So I have a piece of designer series paper. This is three quarters of an inch by four and an eighth. It's the width of this black piece. So I'm just gonna put some regular stamp and seal here on that. Line it up across the bottom. And that kind of pulls the whole thing together. Then this goes inside, there we go. <laughs> and my gift card pouch is all ready to go, but I wanna jazz up that envelope just a smidgen. 
So I have my envelope. I'm gonna open the flap. And here's that chunk of paper from before that I cut off. And so I'm just gonna run my adhesive as close to the edge of the envelope as I can manage. And then I line up one corner, line the paper up with the envelope flap, that score line, give it a press, and then just grab my scissors and trim right around the edge. So if you are doing two at a time and you're using a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, when you, if you use the, those extra scraps to decorate your envelope flaps, when you are done, the only waste you are going to have are these pieces right here. And I actually figured out a solution. Um, if you do want to add this strip of paper, you could actually cut that from um, this piece. You'd have to straighten it up, but you've got enough paper here to create that um, little accent strip there on your gift card. So something to think about. And then, there we go. Here I am ready to roll. So these are great if you've got piles of designer series paper laying around like I do. I really need to get it out of here and I was running low on gift card holders. So this was perfect because it's pretty and easy to make and can be dressed up for any occasion. If you've got lots of holiday paper laying around, um, now is a great time to use it. But let me show you some more samples. And as I said, you can dress these up. One thing I wanted to point out on these is I noticed when I used the um, measurements for this card, the black, the insert piece here, which happens to be on black cardstock, it comes right up to the top and it's, it's actually a little taller than the pouch. And it's okay, but it's not exactly what I wanted for my look. So on the rest of these, what I did instead of cutting it at six and three eighths of an inch, I cut it down to six and a quarter, still kept that one inch fold at the bottom. Here's the inside to this piece, but um, it doesn't come above the little pouch. So something to keep in mind, you can cut that down to six and a quarter if you prefer it to be a little lower like I do. Now here is um, a great way to use up a piece of paper that you might not otherwise know what to do with. I love these pretzels, but I felt they were a little difficult to work with. And so I think this is perfect. I did have to keep in mind the paper had to be six inches tall in this direction so that I could fold it around behind. The only piece that's a little bit upside down is that little flap. And I don't think anybody's gonna notice because they're gonna be looking at the front. And so I have a little circle and my banner, and then this is ready to go. You can change up the look of your card by changing your punches. Here I used the same, both of these came from one piece of paper and I just alternated which punch I put in which color and shape on the top. Getting a little bit ahead for Mother's Day. And there's the insert. Just waiting for a gift card from mom's favorite store. Couldn't forget the dads and we do have this new um, stamp set and die set coming in January 2024. This is our trusty tools um, suite. And so here I've got our great um, paper to use, accents and some stamped and colored images on the front. And then you can, if you want, add a little piece to the inside. I stamped my wrench. I didn't exactly like how it looked all by its lonesome. So I cut and um, I die cut and colored this image here, this tape measure, and I glued it flat on the pocket. And so it just gives it a little, little something, kind of felt it didn't look as out of place with the tape measure added. So just something fun there. And envelope to match, of course. Here is another, um, I just changed up the look a little bit. Inserts are the same. I did roll with the tools for a minute. So this one, I decided not to put the sentiment on the outside. I liked how the image was kind of clean cut and um, balances the busy paper. Here's what I was mentioning earlier. If you want to stamp at the bottom, I, I had a cute roll row of um, wrenches all the way across and I realized when um, I was looking at this, that you can't see this little, the second wrench in because it's a little bit too low. But you know what, I'm not gonna go back and change it now, so it's okay. Um, might look a little funny, but I don't think anybody's gonna really worry. It'll be behind the gift card once it's in there, and then it'll just be a little surprise when they pull it out. 
one more in the tool department. Here again, I kept it simple, just some stamped images here and kept my colors similar with the Lost Lagoon and the grays. And here, I put some stamped images across the bottom um, just to accent it. So you have lots of options for this simple gift card holder. Now I did step away from the tools into the fishing department for a moment. So here is our Gone Fishing DSP. You can add a belly band to your card if you like. And um, the measurements are two inches tall on this one and they are nine and a quarter inches long. I chose to go ahead and score mine at the same measurements as the original piece that I started with, that six inch by nine and a quarter. But what I found is um, if you try to glue it end to end, it's not going to sit well um, when you finish putting the, when you finish assembling the gift card holder. So my recommendation if you want to put a belly band is either skip the score lines. I put the score lines on because I want to make sure my paper lines up on the back and doesn't have strange overlaps. So what I did was I took the paper, the two inch by nine and a quarter, scored it at two and three quarters and seven. Then I took my tape and glued it in the middle, so on this piece here, and I glued that down before I assembled the envelope. Then I turned it over so I had that little mini flap out here. And then I glued each, um, I glued this piece down to the panel and folded it in. And then I folded the envelope shut and then glued this. It's a little off right here in the middle, but close enough nobody's gonna see it. And that way it was laying flat. The first time I tried it, it was definitely buckling and it just didn't have a nice appearance. So um, just play around with it a little bit if you wanna do that belly band. And then here's the inside. Again, I added a stamped image. There's that fish jumping out of the water. And then last but not least, here again is that belly band. Kept it simple. And there's my Happy Father's Day on the inside. So a quick, easy gift card holder, great for any occasion, great way to use up paper, and perfect if you need a gift card to give. And I love, I absolutely love that it fits in an envelope. Just looks like a nice finished product. All right, um, thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad that you're here on my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed already, I'd love to have you hit that subscribe button. You can click the notification bell if you would like to be notified each time a video is posted here on the page. You can also hop on over to Facebook if you like and find me at The Faithful Stamper. If you are a paper catalog kind of person, you like having it in your hands to flip through and drool over like I do, please feel free to reach out to me if you are not working with another demonstrator. I'd be happy to mail you a copy of our new January mini catalog. Um, lots of fun stuff coming in that. And um, you can just check out my website if you like and check out our online exclusives. Those are products that are not in any catalog. They are only online and we have a lot of fun ones there. So, okay. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and happy crafting.